Hi, YouTubers. Dave out in Western Pennsylvania, USA. Hope all is well. And uh, here's a battery, a cell actually, that I uh, set up. I have it in the fume hood here at school, but you don't necessarily have to have a fume hood. I have a five inch rod of magnesium, rather cheap, you can get them on eBay. And I have it in a uh, glass holder. Normally we use that to do thin layer chromatography, but uh, it, it's glass so you student can see what's uh, going on. And a strip of copper. The magnesium is your anode, the copper is your cathode. And the electrolyte is oxone, O-X-O-N-E, used in swimming pools. And I have that in distilled water. And uh, when I first hooked it up, I had an open voltage of about 1.75 volts. The current was uh, way up there. It was about 250 milliamps, short circuit. And I have it running a small 1, 1.5 volt DC motor. And it's a fun cell for home experimenters, students at school interested in batteries. And uh, it'll run it for quite a while. I didn't hook this up to a vernier circuit board. I have sensors for voltage and current. And uh, I'll set this one up and do a live stream. And uh, we'll get an idea of uh, the uh, amp hours. And of course, uh, the oxone presumably is oxidizing the magnesium. And I even put a little bit of copper nitrate in the solution. But the uh, copper ion on the surface will get reduced. And uh, it's a good one to put together. You get pretty good potential and current. And uh, you can conduct experiments using bleach or hydrogen peroxide some other oxidizing agents and uh, see how it runs and periodically you can take the magnesium out clean the surface because it undergoes passivation and uh, some of the top people in the world in battery science energy storage are working on uh, trying to introduce the magnesium particularly secondary cells rechargeable so there you have it and look for my live stream where we'll run this and uh, get some data Thanks for watching. Bye for now.